Yellow, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, we're gonna open up the November Keto Crate box. So I just picked this up from the post office. Again, I'm in Hawaii, so it takes a little longer for me to get this, but I'm gonna try to upload it as quickly as I can. And just because I don't want this video to get too long, we're gonna get right into this. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the first thing I see is a Keto Crate Thanksgiving Survival Guide. Thanksgiving is quickly approaching, and we all know what that means, sugar and carbs galore. It looks like it's a little uh, booklet on uh, information, Thanksgiving, okay, so it looks like there's some tips on Thanksgiving. You know, every time I get into a diet, uh, I've tried many before, but I always have the hardest time doing Halloween and Thanksgiving, and so I guess I'm not the only one. It looks like there's a lot of uh, people that probably struggled during that time, and they're trying to help us out with these tips right here, all right, so that's one thing right there. This one right here is a flyer. It says take 15% off your next order at outeraislegourmet.com with code and then it's Keto Crate 15. And it's a plant power pizza crust, okay? So I wanna check that out. Right, this right here, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Actually, I just uploaded a Keto Taste Taste with the sea salt and cracked uh, black pepper, which is really good. Uh, I did realize while I was uh, filling in the description that they have tons of flavors So I plan to get a bunch of those and probably do keto taste tests on all of those uh, Either in one video or individually. I haven't decided yet. But that's good to have right there. Oh Goodness gracious. It looks like they got some good stuff in here. Okay, so this is the uh, sinless raw 85% dark chocolate sea salt pecan one net carb per serving and it looks like there's two servings in this uh, bar and uh, yeah it's uh, chocolate I've never seen this uh, brand before so it's nice to know that there's uh, other options instead of just the uh, Lily's chocolate which I do like actually it looks like they use erythritol but uh, I look forward to this definitely this one's gonna get their, its own uh, taste test this right here, shoot foods. So this is a protein, croutons, parmesan herbs. So I did do some taste tests on these, not this flavor in particular. I was kind of curious about other flavors, so I'm glad that I got this one. This is a Primo Nam's Mug Cake Pumpkin Spice for net carbs. I actually still have the other one. I haven't had a chance to try it. It's the same company, it's just a different flavor, I, I believe. So I'll maybe do both of those in one video. This is the Buff Bake Fuel Bar and plus MCT. It's one gram of sugar, four net carbs. And this is the Peanut Butter Cacao. All right, so another bar. I do expect a few bars and the Keto Crates. I guess those are the easiest things to produce for Keto um, besides pork rinds uh, and maybe some nuts and stuff like that. Okay, so this one right here is the Nordy Low Carb Classic Chocolate Bar by Biotech Bodies, Australia. It's from Australia, wow, they're importing stuff from uh, other places, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Product of Australia, it looks like it's made in Florida though, or oh, distributed by some of the people in Florida. Uh, it does say chocolate bar, but it seems like there's three pieces in here, either that or it broke, but that looks delicious. This right here is the Keto Crave Energy Bar. Cacao almond, five net carbs. I don't really tend to go for energy bars or energy drinks, uh, but I guess for those that work out, it's good to have these options. Um, normally, I'm, I'm good with some uh, pork rinds, uh, maybe even some uh, almonds, but I definitely wanna try this. Another bar, so so far there's four, five, this is the fifth bar right here, and it's Heka Good Foods Keto Bar, chocolate chunk cookie dough, grain and gluten-free, 11 grams protein, a no chicory root, and one net carb, all right. Can't smell through it, but that's bar number five. Uh, this is another package that I've received before, a different flavor though. This is a strawberry lime premium nut butter. It is the Fat Fit Go. So nut butters are nice, but I never know what to put it on. Maybe some uh, celery. I mean, I would think apples. You know how people do uh, apple and peanut butter, but apples aren't really keto. So uh, we'll see. I'll probably figure out what I can put this on and then try and do a taste test on it. All right, this is another fat snack cookie. This is a lemony lemon, all right? So fat and snack cookie. I do remember liking the first one, so here we go. This is another one. This is some yeah, meat stick. It looks, it doesn't look like an actual meat stick. It looks more like a string, like a really long piece of, uh, of jerky. So this is actually, the company's Black 
castle pillars and salami whips naturally wood smoked salami product of canada semi-dry cured old forest i guess old forest is a flavor and it's a grab and go ready to eat snack okay so these are always good to have bunker hill i like a bunker hill cheese this one here is the buffalo i just finished editing the cheddar one so that one's going to go up first uh, but they are really good. I like that they're real crunchy and you can't really eat a lot of it because of how strong the flavors are But because it's so high on uh, fat and protein then it kind of fills you up So you don't really need to eat too much uh, It's just not something to break the monotony for a little bit and the last item here is the crispy cuts pork rinds sweet chipotle I'm not a big fan of chipotle flavored chips. I don't think chipotle is the best chili I'm from Mexico, so there's a lot of spicy uh, chips, and we do eat chicharrones and all that. Uh, and for some reason, uh, chipotle is like really popular in the U.S., but I don't think it, it's as popular in Mexico because, uh, you know, I've heard of it, but I don't, I can't think of any like famous chipotle uh, recipes. Uh, so I don't know. Chipotle is a little too earthy for me. It doesn't really have a, a lot of flavor, but. Hopefully this is uh, not the same and maybe and maybe it's a little better. It does say sweet chipotle, so that might uh, give a little bit of a different taste. So that's it, that's the last item here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 items, that's actually a lot. Uh, and there's a bunch of bars in here. There's a couple items in here that are repeat but with different flavors so at least they changed it up so they don't add the same thing over and over again uh, so that's good i'm gonna start uh, planning the keto taste test for these and yeah i uh, hope you guys stay tuned for those uh, so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you liked it hit that like button if you haven't already uh, go ahead and please subscribe to this channel like i said a lot of these uh, taste test videos are going to be coming up soon so make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when the videos come up I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.